People who never served in the military, but did serve me a burger and fries and gentlemen. This will be a two-part response, by the way. This is a response to Corporal Klinger. Excuse me, I mean, Loser McCain is through. We'll have all the video titles below the video on the original URL, because we're responding to several of McStupid's videos. Just in case McStupid changes the title of her videos, which she has done many times, or removes them and reloads them. If the title comes up different, McStupid has changed it. If the video doesn't come up at all, McStupid has removed it. We're going to attack McStupid's atheistic religion from a different angle, namely her oddball moral compass, which appears and disappears when it's expedient for her. Listen, folks, the question is not, do you need to believe in God to be a moral person? The answer is no. Can an atheist be a quote-unquote good citizen? Yes. The question is, where does McStupid get her belief in objective morality from, since she is an atheist? It could have a metaphysical origin, which she would reject. It could come from the individual, or it could come from the government. First, let's prove our contention that McStupid does indeed believe in objective morals. In her, quote, the great tolerance of Catholics, end quote, and, quote, Catholics are tolerant of criminal, criminal pedophiles, but not atheists, end quote, those cut-and-paste videos, McStupid's objective morality is working overtime. She's rightly upset about Catholic priests having homosexual sex with little boys. At the beginning of her video, The Great Tolerance of Catholics, she uses an image from Fred Phelps's Independent Baptist Church in Kansas. It's an independent Baptist church in Kansas, McStupid. She apparently did figure this out later in her Christian scumbag protest funerals of American soldiers anti-homosexual Westboro Baptist Church video. McStupid rightly complains about this church, and I use the term loosely, protesting at the funerals of dead soldiers. I think this is immoral, and apparently so does McStupid, but so long as these people remain on a public right-of-way and do not block the path of the funeral procession, they have a right to engage in this type of hate speech. Just as the KKK and the Black Panthers are allowed to be racist, believing that certain, eth believing that certain ethnic groups are inferior, so long as they don't burn anyone's house down or beat anybody up. Getting back to McStupid's anger at the Catholic Church, we should also point this, this out. Not all men who prey upon little boys are Catholic priests, but all men who prey upon little boys are homosexuals. Which brings us to another interesting point. In another cut-and-paste video by McStupid titled, Animals Are Gay, <laughs> February 24th, 2010, McCain is through. She cuts and pastes several pictures off the internet showing various male animals having sex with other male animals. This begs the question. Why would you want those Catholic priests prosecuted for having sex with little boys? They're just acting on their natural instincts, because they're animals, right? Are you saying their natural instincts are now wrong? We all evolved from the same pond, according to McStupid. So what's all this angst towards Catholic priests who want to have sex with little boys? If we're all just prisoners to chemical reactions in our brains, then why not rehabilitate these people instead of jailing them? Let's look at this another di another way, McStupid. See if you can follow along, kiddo. What if, say, Illinois lowered its age of consent to 12? We'll do one better, 10. Let's say they lowered the age of consent to 10 by the state legislature and the governor signed it. And then 47-year-old men living in public housing could have sex with 12-year-old and 10-year-old boys and girls. The age of consent in Iowa is 16. If that act occurred here, that 47-year-old man would go to jail. Which state has a moral standard and which state has an immoral standard, according to you, McStupid? What if a bunch of 10-year-old Catholic altar boys got permission from their parents for sex with priests and testified in court in favor of those Catholic priests? Would you still consider that immoral, McStupid? Would it still be an immoral act? Even if the state sanctioned it, would it be immoral? See if you can follow along, stupid. We would also like to thank McStupid for putting YouTube Kook Detector in the tag of that video, and if you search YouTube Kook Detector in her videos, you get several results. She's upset because I slapped her down on my website. Go to Kook Central, you'll find her on there. That proves our point that McStupid has responded to us several times in an indirect manner, except once. Let's continue. At the 629 mark of McStupid's unreferenced The Essential Atheist video, she quotes Catherine Hepburn, and spells her name wrong, by the way. 
as saying, quote, I believe there's nothing we can know except that we should be kind to each other and do what we can for other people, end quote. She also fails to reference several quotes by the Founding Fathers proving they're atheists. Thomas Jefferson certainly wasn't a Christian, but he was no atheist. James Madison was a Founding Father and was a Christian. Let's pretend McStupid is right. All these people she quoted are atheists, and they had no problem with rich white men owning poor black men. I don't think that's going to help your case, little lady. McStupid also quotes Woodrow Wilson, who deported anti-war radicals to the Soviet Union during his presidency. I, excuse me, I mean we, we use we now, because we use a distorted voice on occasion, proving there are several people on this channel. We don't think that will help McStupid's case either. Here's what McStupid is saying. Here are a bunch of white atheists who think it's okay to own black people and deport people who don't agree with you. Is that immoral? Now I'd like to bring some comments made to a friend of mine, Jeremy Oyer one We won't reference who made these comments, but let's see, and this will go in with the slavery thing. Let's see if McCain is through thinks these are immoral. Keep in mind, Jeremy Oyer's wife is from the Philippines. Just a few comments. Quote, Oinker bribed a Filipino whore with American citizenship. Next one, and one of only two. Jeremy Oinker won the fat crybaby who, crybaby who has been exposed as an internet predator to children under the age of 18. Actually, if you go by age of consent laws, it wouldn't be whoever wrote this. I'm not going to reveal who it was. Jeremy Oinker won the fat crybaby who has been exposed as an internet predator to children under the age of 18 who also admitted he needed to get a mail-order bride from the Philippines. This leads us to our point, and going back to Catherine Hepburn's quote, Why should we be nice to others? What if our country went back to its original establishment that blacks were inferior and for good measure we'll throw in Asians? What if our country declared that Asians and blacks could be bought and owned by white guys? If McStupid agrees, then she can't say her objective morality comes from the individual because they can be overruled by the government. And she can't say it comes from the government because the government often changes its mind too. McStupid, the errant speller, often claims to have reviews based in science, Use the scientific method to prove to me that owning blacks is wrong and that the actions of the Nazis at Auschwitz was wrong. If she replies, nothing wants to be hurt, a relativist like Mussolini could retort, it's survival of the fittest and we've declared that certain races are half-evolved monkeys. What if a government comes into power and doesn't care if it hurts someone or something else? One could say they're being pragmatic by removing the inferior races from the gene pool. McStupid's moral compass might kick, kick in here and she becomes offended, so let me quote from an article by Gary DeMar on subjective morality and natural selection. Quote, The nothing butters are rampant in the world of atheism. Philosopher Daniel Dennett presupposes that the mind is somehow nothing but a physical ph phenomenon. Dawkins assures us that the universe is nothing but blind, pitiless indifference. Francis Crick tops it off with, we're nothing but a pack of neurons. If we're all nothing butters, why is it wrong for white nothing butters to own and, black, own and sell black or Asian nothing butters? Human super niceness is a perversion of Darwinism because in a wild population it would be removed by natural selection. From a rational point of view, rational choice point of view, or from a Darwinian point of view, human super niceness is just plain dumb. So if there's a murderer sitting in jail waiting for his trial to commence, he might want to see if he can line up Richard Dawkins as an expert witness for his defense since, according to Dawkins, DNA neither knows nor cares and we're nothing but DNA. So those Asians and blacks, they're nothing but DNA, nothing but a pack of neurons, just a bag of meat accidentally functioning. Why is it not okay to own them? We'll continue this in part two. Have a nice day and don't thank me now.